Hello class. Pharmacology is an essential tool to the nurse. We all must understand the medications we're going to give our patients, how they work, what their use is, and their adverse effects. In this class, we're going to be examining many different medication classes to coincide with the medical surgical classes you're already taking. Cardiac medications are essential to understand as they are the most frequently used within the nursing realm. In fact, the American Heart Association states that one out of every three Americans have cardiovascular disease. Heart disease is the number one worldwide killer with strokes falling closely at number two. All the medications examined in this unit are going to have the ability to both improve and extend the lives of our cardiovascular patients. There are many classes of cardiac medications. For each class of medication, we're going to be examining the mechanism of action as well as the reason why these medications are generally prescribed. The common side effects for each of the commonly prescribed medications as well as major adverse effects are also going to be discussed. For example, a first-line cardiac medication class are the ACE inhibitors, which is short for angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. These medications are commonly prescribed to treat hypertension. ACE inhibitors combat hypertension by not allowing the body to convert angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is going to cause sympathetic activities to occur within your body, such as vasoconstriction, increased thirst, and fluid retention. When this hormone is inhibited from forming, blood volume decreases through fluid wasting as well as allowing vasodilation to occur. Both of these activities decrease blood pressure and the workload of the heart. The generic name of ACE inhibitors all end with PRIL or PRIL, making it easier to identify these medications. Examples of these medications include lisinopril, captopril, and enalopril. When a patient is given an ACE inhibitor, it is important to note that a potential side effect is a dry cough. This occurs in approximately 10% of patients, but is harmless. Even though it's harmless, patients often find this unsettling or bothersome. Due, the, due to the diuretic qualities of ACE inhibitors, hyperkalemia is also a possible side effect, so patients must be careful when utilizing salt substitutes because those are often high in potassium. They also have to be careful with potassium supplements. Also important to note is ACE inhibitors alone do not have a therapeutic effect in African Americans like other races. It often have, they often have to be combined with other cardiovascular medications to combat hypertension. Just like we examine the ACE inhibitor, with each of the cardiovascular medication drug classes, we will explore the purpose, mechanism of action, and important tidbits necessary for administration. Other cardiovascular medications to be examined are the beta blockers, antiarrhythmics, anticoagulants and antiplatelets, lipid medications, calcium channel blockers, and angiotensin II receptor antagonists. I'm so excited to share this information with you all and hope that we have a great class this year.